Hey what's up guys, in this video we are going to talk about array of structure in C++ programming. Like any other data type, we can create one array of the structure type. The syntax is first you have the struct keyword, then the name of the structure and then we can create one array with one specified size. Like an example, we have the struct keyword, then the name of the structure like student and then the name of the array is with the specified size 10. So in this example program we are going to create one structure called student and it will have the data member string name and integer role. Now inside the main method if we wanted to create variable of the student type then we have to write struct student and if we wanted to create for variable for 10 student then we have to write s1, s2, s3 and this way we have to write till s10 but instead of doing that we can create one array with the size 10 and by doing that we are creating 10 variable of the student type now we can select the first student variable by using the indexing 0 and we can assign it the value the name can be tom and the role can be 1 and also we can select the second student variable by using the indexing 1 and we can assign the value sam and the role 2 and this way we can assign value to all of those student variables and now we can use the cout and we can print the value of those variables like s0.name and also we can print s0 dot role so i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna run the program and you can see we have printed tom1 and similarly also we can use the indexing 1 and we can print the data members for the second student variable so i'm gonna save it and run it again and you can see this time the output is sam2 so this way instead of creating variable for all the individual student we can create one array of the structure and we can use the indexing to assign value to the data members and we can also use indexing to access value of those data members so hope you understand about the concept of array of structure in c++ programming we'll see you in the next one thank you